the time of the business here for me but uh, it's affected my plane if you notice it's going down a bit but i'll be back i'll be back hey by the way if you're still watching i turn 65 tomorrow saturday the 20th of january i'm very um, privileged um, if you're this age or older you'll know what it feels like i'm going through a bit of a thought process i've got a brilliant long-term mind that i've been blessed or cursed with but it is what it is i accept who i am but my goal is to get better on this instrument that has um, caught my attention a stringed instrument caught my attention at the age of seven which i will never forget in that i took a few planks from um, peach boxes very soft pine wood and I constructed my first two guitars because I grew up to two Greek boys they were twins and um, I made them each a guitar because my goal at the age of seven was to be a drummer I used all my father's old enamel paint tins and I sat on one and I had a paraffin tin that's my tom tom and the name of our group was the Beatles <laughs> You haven't heard my story before only one of those twins is alive today but we had a lot of fun by the age of 10 i was lent a miniature drum kit like my grandkids have got and something about the guitar that kept attracting me um, and also when in the in the year that i was seven uh, my neighbor over the road uh, grandmother an old lady in her 80s gave me a violin and had no strings no it had two strings and then my father gave it to a friend of his who was a carpenter and that violin never got returned to me and I, I pined and I cried for it at the age of 10 I was lent a guitar for two weeks a steel string guitar like this acoustic I hurt my fingers too badly so I quit after two weeks I handed it back the guy lent it to me. At the age of 14, the neighbor next door was playing nylons. He could play A minor and D. <laughs> George Harrison, my sweet lord. I fell in love with the guitar because I loved that song. It was being played in the radio all the time. The year was 1973. It was probably December month. He lent me the guitar for a few days. For my birthday, my 14th birthday, I was given gifts of about 25 South African rands. I went to my mother and I begged her to lend me 10 rand, which was a lot of money those days. Pocket money was about 50 cents a week. So it was um, a year's worth of pocket money in advance. Anyway, she questioned me. She was an amateur pianist since the age of six. And my mom by that stage was 50 years old and she, she questioned me and my motivations and I got on the train about 13 kilometers with my neighbor who was two years older than me I was 16 went to the city music store the only one in the city of Cape Town and bought myself a nylon strung guitar identical to his and within two days I was playing my sweet lord and played the guitar for seven years solid up to five and a half hours a day I was obsessed with the thing then I met my beautiful wife who I married 41 years ago the day we got engaged I announced my resignation from the band I was 22 years old I quit I next played in a band regrouped with the guys for 18 months and I was 27 years old and at 28 I quit totally and um, I, I hope this helps you in your journey and then at the age of 43 I got a contract from a new client on a new continent in Australia I walked past a music store and I saw the guitar of my dreams my Gibson Les Paul that was in the year 2000 and, um, 2002 and I bought the Les Paul 
but I only played about two hours a month because I was too busy developing my business in the new continent in my life. And um, Fem was awake. And I uh, went on like that for the next uh, for the next 12 years. The guitar got played about 15 hours a year. It was ridiculous. And then I started to get tired and weary of life. And my wife said one Monday night when I came home after 11 hour day, she said, why don't you go downstairs and play guitar? And I put in Black Sabbath CD of mine. And I played uh, along Iron Man. And then I played Sweet Leaf. And then I played Fairies Wear Boots, one of my favorites. I'm gonna do it for you soon again, a cover, cover jam. Just a loop jam. I came up two hours later, my wife wasn't really sleepy and I woke her up and she said, wow, you're looking very happy. <laughs> Your mood's changed and, uh, and that's the reason why she had sent me down to lift my spirits because she noticed when I did play those two hours on a Sunday afternoon once a month that how happy it made me. And um, the next night she said, go down again. And I came out there two and a half hours later by then I could really play uh, those three Black Sabbath songs pretty well. And it went on like that for uh, maybe three years. I played with CDs every night. And a client of mine approached me and said, he's learning to play bass guitar at the age of like 53. Could I help him? We ended up jamming together for five years. But we jammed over, over records and recordings. So anyway, I could train him. Then he started using language like pentatonic scale to me and I said, I've never played a scale, I just play by ear. And I tell you, I've never looked back. Thanks to YouTube, I've spent about four or five thousand hours of researching songs, repertoires. I then got into lessons. Now I'm giving a few lessons of my own. I've learned a huge amount. They call it the scenic route. I've clocked up something like 10,000 hours in the last 11 years um, yeah, 10, actually 10 years I've done about a, a minimum of 1000 hours if not uh, 1300 hours a year but to be conservative you know to be a virtuoso they say you have to you have to play 30,000 hours to play really well, it takes 10,000 hours. I'm getting there slowly. There's so much uh, diverse musical fields. But if you're a beginner, like me, I want to encourage you to persist. This is what this whole lesson is about, about persistence, perseverance, tenacity. When I was a little boy, my, my, my late mother used to say to me, Michael, you've got a lot of perseverance. Well, for those who know me, I've been playing guitar for since I started, age 14, for 51 years tomorrow. Because remember, I turn 65 tomorrow. <laughs> Clients of mine said to me about seven years ago, after I'd been playing guitar seriously again, like 25, 30 hours a week, said to me, oh my gosh, in a lot of the business is done remotely, electronically, and they said to me, oh my gosh, you look younger than you look seven years <laughs> years ago. <laughs> so uh, the secret to uh, to stop aging is play play music. <laughs> or if you're not a player, listen to music. You know that music ignites all the little neurons and axioms in your brain. It gives you a whole new purpose. You know, um, I've got to be honest with you. Eight nine years ago, I was literally getting up. And temperatures of minus two at as early as um, five thirty in the morning, with a view just to go in and play an A minor pentatonic. Because it was all new to me then. Even though I could play some blues music and rock music pretty well, I'd played in bands that performed for bank annual dances, for weddings, for punk gigs. I've had quite a life. I, I've had quite a good life experience and I'm very grateful for it. But I want 
want to share my passion with you because this instrument has done so much for me. And if you watch my channel, you know that I love rescuing guitars. And in a moment, you're going to see my little puppy dog. She's going to jump up here. Come on. There she is. There's Zoe. So she's told me it's time to come give him a treat before breakfast. Anyway, go back to the beginning of this video. Uh, it's a 20 minute video now and then um, watch me struggle as I learn some outside fusion licks because it's going to spice up my plane because you know what I said the late Tommy Bolin used it so therefore Mike the Brain has to use it <laughs> um, I wish you all the well for 24 eh? and uh, keep rocking thanks for you and please send your all your colleagues or your school friends to subscribe no matter where you are in the world